Welcome to today's lecture on Zenith Academy Online. Hello everyone. I hope everyone is doing well. I am Shravika Jamnik, your teacher for today. And today we are going to learn something very important. Safety and first aid. So let's begin. We know the elements of nature. Fire, air, water, they are all necessary for life. In fact, discovery of fire was considered the most important achievement of man because he learned to warm his caves, get light and scare off any wild animals. But anything in excess is dangerous, even the natural elements. With technology, we can now produce fire easily, but we have to learn to be safe and reduce the risk of accidents as much as possible. Safety starts with you. Remember that. Let's take a look at some fire hazards. If handled carelessly, accidents can occur. The first hazard is a kitchen fire. Kitchen is a place where we do most of our cooking and therefore fire is used here the most. There can be a leakage of gas or leakage in the gas pipelines. We will see how to detect this very soon. The second hazard is an electrical fire. This is also quite common because there can be a fault in the wiring or the casing of fire can be broken and this one you must have seen. Many appliances connected together. An electrical fire can also occur if the appliance is old. There can be other reasons for a fire too like mishandling matchsticks. Sometimes you may think it's cool to play with matchsticks, but really it's not cool. Never play with matchsticks. You're putting your life at risk. Some clothes also catch fire more easily than other clothes. Example, synthetic clothes. Now that we know the fire hazards, let's learn how they can be prevented. Check all your appliances regularly. This is very important. There shouldn't be any sparks coming off of them. Do not wear synthetic or nylon clothes while cooking. They can easily catch fire. Gas pipelines may have leakages. So please ask everyone to check for any gas leaks. The test for this is quite simple. Apply a layer of soapy water on all your gas pipes. If there is a leak, the soapy water will start generating lather. This is a simple test, but it's very useful. Also, tighten all connections to be very safe. Gas usually also has a rotten egg smell. So if you smell something, open all the doors. And remember, in such a case, do not switch on electrical appliances because they can catch fire in such a case. Firefighting means fighting with the fire. The name gives away the meaning, right? Let's see the definition. To put out fire caused due to various reasons is known as firefighting. Fire spreads faster than gossip, believe me. So we have to take the right measures very quickly. Immediately call the fire stations if you see a fire breakout. Firefighters uh, usually use water to put up fire, but there can be other ways too. Like cutting off the supply of air to the burning object, 
and cooling the burning object. Cutting off supply of air. Put sand, especially if it's a fire because of petrol or oil, we should definitely use sand. Because petrol floats on water and sand does not. So use sand to put out fire. Put a thick blanket if it is accessible. Never ever put water on burning electrical appliances because it can cause a shock. We can also cool the burning object. But as you know, water cannot always be used as we saw in the case of petrol and oil. Sand should be used for all oil fires. If a person's clothes catch fire, he or she should be rolled onto the floor or covered with a blanket. Hmm, why are we using sand or blankets to cut off the fire? Are they good conductors or bad conductors of fire? Find out and mention in the comments. We have all seen fire extinguishers at some point. Now let's see how it works. In case of a fire, pull out the pin and spray the gas. The gas inside a fire extinguisher is carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide forms a blanket on fire and therefore doesn't let the fire breathe. If the fire can't breathe, it dies off. It's a very useful equipment because it can be used for electrical fires too. Have you ever heard the saying, prevention is better than cure? You must have. But sometimes we can't prevent accidents and in such cases we should know how we can help the injured or help ourselves if we are injured. First aid is defined as the immediate help given to the victim before they are taken to the hospital. This is something we do first when we are trying to aid or help the victim. A first aid kit should always be at your disposal. Have you ever seen a first aid kit? If yes, what do you think should be inside the first aid kit? Let me know in the comment section please. Let's now learn the different injuries that can occur if we are not very careful and some first aid tips. As a kid, I used to play all the time. I still play every chance I get. I hope you do too. Go out and have fun. Don't just sit at home with your phone. Um, but not in the times of Corona, okay? It is natural to fall down and have cuts or scratches or wounds while playing. In this case, what should be done? Firstly, you should wash the wound thoroughly and make sure it's under running water so that the dirt can flow with the water. Next, apply an antiseptic lotion on the affected area. If you see your cut and the cut is deep, press the wound to make sure that the bleeding stops. Wrapping and tying should be done in such a way that it's tight enough to apply pressure near the wound. This pressure will reduce the blood flow and therefore stop the bleeding. A tonic wet can also be used for this purpose. It is like a band that can be tied close to the wounded area. The stick-like structure that you can see can then be rotated to add extra pressure. This will also reduce the blood flow. Now that the bleeding is not much or has stopped, tie the gauze bandage around the wound. This is what a gauze bandage looks like. Try to always keep a gauze bandage with you. Please try to remember, if the wound was caused due to rusted or dirty object, please go to a doctor and get an anti-tetanus injection. Don't be scared of injections. They look scary. But the prick is like just an ant bite. So don't worry. I'm 
sure you must have heard about a fracture. The next first aid tip is about a fracture. It looks scary, but it can be handled too. A fracture is essentially a crack in the bone. Because it is a crack, care should be taken to not move it at all. And for this, a sling can be tied around the fractured area. The person should be immediately taken to a hospital. The next first aid tip is for sprains. What is a sprain? A sprain is a condition in which the tissue is injured around the joints. What can we do in such a case? We can use an ice pack for some relief to the affected area. Also, immobilize the affected area by tying a band-aid around the joint. This is very important. Please keep this in mind because sprains are very common. The next first aid tip is for animal bites. Animals like dog, cat, monkey contain a disease known as rabies in the saliva. And when these animals bite you, the saliva can remain on the injured place. And this can give you a disease known as rabies. So you should immediately rush to a hospital and get anti-rabies injection. Next is snake bite. A snake bite may not be very common now, but you should still know all the precautions. You should tie a tight bandaid above and below the bite. This is because the venom should not spread in your bloodstream. So the bandaid should be tied very tightly and you should immediately be taken to the hospital. Next is a wasp sting. Have you seen a wasp? This is what a wasp looks like. In case of a wasp sting, apply vinegar or lemon juice. This can give you some relief. The last but not the least first aid tip is for burns. I hope you remember about the dangers of a fire. If you don't, please go back and try to read it again. Let's learn about what we can do in case of a burn due to fire or chemicals. Burns are of two types, minor burns and major burns. In case of a minor burn, keep the burned area under cold running water. Then after some time, apply antiseptic lotion or a paste of baking soda and water. You should definitely consult a doctor. In case of a major or severe burn, you should cover the area with clean cotton. Blisters may form in case of a major burn. If blisters are forming, do not prick the area. And in case of a major burn, the patient should be rushed to the doctor.